Hi there. So today I am going to take uh, this this video that I normally do and change it from informational to experiential. So today I am going to walk you through an exercise to help you when you feel stuck. This is something you could do like if, if you're trying to make a decision or you feel like you don't have any choices or if you feel like you know, you're only reacting to external stimuli and you're just feeling stuck where you don't know how to take the next step. If that's the case, go ahead and bring that thing to mind. Set your intention for this exercise that at the end of this exercise that you are going to be able to see more options than you can currently see. So that is um, what this exercise is meant to be. So it's not going to necessarily give you the ideal, awesome answer to your question, but it will give you more options to choose from versus what may seem like either zero options or only one or the other. So here we go. So it takes some time. Feel the ground underneath you. If you're able to put your feet flat on the floor. And for this exercise, I'm going to invite you to put your palms facing up. It could be on your lap, on your chair, on your desk, whatever it is, but in some way bringing your palms facing up. And if you feel comfortable doing so, go ahead and close your eyes, feel the ground beneath your feet, that stability of the earth rising up to meet you and supporting you. Feel that chair underneath you supporting you. Feel the support. Feel that beautiful tension, like that pressure of the support of the ground and the earth and your furniture. Just feel that support of your spine holding up your body. You don't need to tighten up all of the muscles in order to sit up. Just trust your spine. Trust the furniture. Trust the earth. Notice how much support you actually do have, even without taking into consideration other people or situations, just you individually on this earth are surrounded by support. And let's take some nice, beautiful, deep breaths together. When you breathe, you're going to breathe all the way down to the bottom of your gut. Take your time and inhale. And when you exhale, exhale even slower than the inhale. And again, inhale in. And now exhale even slower and more fully. And one more inhale in. And exhale even more slowly, even more fully. And take this moment to find your own cadence of breath. However the breath itself decides to enter and exit your body is just fine. Just notice it. Again, noticing the support, noticing how your body will take care of you. You don't have to focus on your breath in order to breathe. You don't have to focus on your heart in order for it to beat. Notice just how much care and support and help you actually do receive without acknowledging it or noticing it. Only every day you are in fact surrounded by support. Now bringing the attention to those hands facing up, noticing if there's any sensations happening there. You don't necessarily have to do anything but those hands, just noticing the feeling, the openness, and just how much is available to you. When we bring on this posture of widening our hands, 
widening our body, taking up space, and bringing ourselves in the mood of trust and being supported, allowing ourselves to be supported by the earth and our bodies and its systems. And bringing to mind that thing that was having you feel so stuck. And I invite you to focus on what is your desired outcome for this situation? What is your desired outcome? And just continue to breathe and see what comes to you. And from this place of big openness and support, what are at least three different routes or options that you have at this time when it comes to this particular situation? And at least three, five is great because often two of those options are things that we've been considering. They're usually very black and white, yes or no, right or wrong. Today we're exploring all of the options, even if they're silly. Allowing yourself to feel the space, feel the abundance of ability and options available to you. What are the craziest ways? What are the craziest options? What are all the possibilities that can help get you closer to that desired outcome? If in fact that remains your desired outcome after looking at all of your possibilities, that too may change. And allow yourself to take some time in this space, swirl around in the ideas, be creative, be silly. It may help you to go straight to pen and paper. We're typing out a list when we're done here before these thoughts run away from you. Even the crazy silly ones Jot them all down as a starting point of realizing just how many options are available to you. Realizing there's always, always, always more than two. And in between the black and white are so many beautiful colors. And swimming around in those different shades of colors or where we can very often find a great answer to our questions. And so many more possibilities than just living in the black and white. And when you're ready, you can take another cleansing breath and slowly and carefully open your eyes and we'll come back together. And again, if you have a pen and paper ready, Go ahead and just start mind dumping. It doesn't have to be spelled correctly. Just hurry up and get them out before they run away from you. And then from here, go ahead and start just exploring these lists. You may want to take a couple days to continue to add to it. You may want to post this list so that it's top of mind for you for a while before making a decision. Or you may have already come up with a clear decision based on this exercise. Let me know how this went for you. Let me know if you would like more of these types of videos versus just the, you know, verbal intellectual thinking ones. If you would like more experimental, experiential videos like this one, just let me know how this went for you. Let me know if any questions. And of course, always do all the things. Let's get this word out there. Share, like, comment, do all, subscribe, you know, all those things. Um, and uh, as always, let me know how this is going for you. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.
Bye.